All right, y'all, we got it. We got the next trailer. Everyone has been sitting by the edge of their seats waiting for this trailer, and we got it. Tekken officially gave us, or I should I say Bandai Namco, they officially gave us the trailer for Paul Phoenix, and here we are. We're gonna talk about it for a little bit. Of course, if you guys are new here, hey, hi, my name is Miles. And if you aren't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and leaving a like for this video. Let's get into it. So I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the biggest change to Paul Phoenix is clearly they got rid of his iconic skyscraper hair. And now he's serving a more relaxed look. Obviously, this has been something that we've seen since the beginning, but I think it's always great to rehash it because it looks like Paul's going into a more serious direction in his characterization and he's less of a goofball that they were trying to portray in Tekken 7. In terms of his gameplay style, Paul has a lot of stuff that's going on for him and some stuff that I was noticing that was being adopted from other Tekken 7 characters. In part of the trailer, you can notice that Paul can now guard break, which is something that only Fakuram was able to do in Tekken 7, which was actually a new introduction to Tekken in general was a guard break system. Now it looks like Paul can just do guard breaks himself as well. So I believe this is a new mechanic that is coming in specifically for Paul because Paul is one of the heavy hitters of Tekken as well. He's also got brand new extensions and screw possibilities. I'm not very well versed in Paul stuff, so I don't know exactly any annotations or anything like that, but it looks so intense the way that his hits actually just feel like they leave an entire impact with the character. One thing that was actually been very interesting to see in the trailer was that Paul actually has a wall setting two on a normal launch now, which is pretty cool. I think Paul is gonna be a very, very strong character. I'm actually really enjoying the direction that they're taking Paul in terms of his gameplay and his his characterization. He looks super intense and he looks like he's going to actually hit very, very hard. He's always been a heavy hitter in Tekken with or without rage, but he is looking very, very strong. And I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people are going to end up being Paul mains because so far these last few trailers that we've gotten, everyone looks like they are just getting stronger this type of game. And this game is going to be a completely different realm to go through. Anyway, that's all I really have to say about Paul. If you guys are noticing anything new or different with Paul, make sure you guys leave it down below in the comments and I will see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye.